Facebook ads has several attribution windows that you can use in your campaigns and it's frustrating to know exactly which one to use, whether they're default setting or one of the other options. Now, I've run several attribution window tests over the years, recently concluding another one. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you what the algorithm does when you choose an attribution window and more importantly, in which situations do you wanna change the attribution window? There's so many things that you can optimize within a Facebook ad campaigns and oftentimes advertisers spend their time and energy tweaking the wrong things. Now the attribution window setting is one that can significantly improve the ROAS of your campaigns and regardless if you're using an advantage shopping campaign or a manual sales campaign, you're gonna find this option at the same place. It's gonna be at your ad set level for your campaign and first of all, let me tell you what this signals to the algorithm when you actually toggle with this. So at a default, you have a seven day click, one day view, which basically is telling Facebook, if anybody sees our ad and they've seen it within one day, but they haven't clicked on it, if they converted, we are going to take the credit as a platform for that conversion. Alternatively, if somebody sees our ad, they click on it, and in five days they convert, or in six days, or tomorrow, or as long as they're within that seven day period, we will take the credit for it. So who wants to be using this? Basically, if you're a new advertiser and this is the only place that you're advertising, this is totally fine. You can use the default seven day click, one day view. Now, the situations where you don't wanna use this default view uh, would be number one, if you're advertising on multiple platforms, and you don't want to give credit to Facebook for something that they didn't do. So for example, if you're running, let's say, ads on Google, Amazon, and Facebook, and TikTok. Somebody could have seen your ad on TikTok, clicked on it there, and also seen your ad on Facebook or Instagram, and, and simply viewed it within 24 hours. So if they viewed it on Facebook within 24 hours, but they clicked on it on Google, and they clicked on it on TikTok, and they actually converted on you know, TikTok, for example. TikTok's gonna take the credit, but also you're gonna have Facebook take the credit. And so first of all, that's gonna just confuse things for you. You're not gonna know what the hell's working because of this. So a lot of advertisers, especially D2C e-com advertisers, see the most success changing this from this, the seven day click, one day view, and just removing the view. Now, you also have another option here. You can leave it at seven day or at one day. And there are actually some situations where you can get significantly better performance by changing this. Now, you have to understand that depending on the product or service that you're selling through your e-com site experience, it might really affect which one of these you wanna use. For example, there are some things that you will see an ad for or your customers, and they are just not gonna convert within 24 hours. For example, if someone's researching anything around travel, Travel is typically something that people are gonna talk to their friends, they're gonna coordinate, they're gonna look at dates. Rarely is someone seeing some kind of offer or deal for something travel related, maybe to a destination, maybe flights, maybe hotels, and actually converting in the same day. That, that doesn't happen too often. Um, so that's the situation where a seven day click through uh, attribution setting makes a lot more sense. You wanna give a, a better chance for Facebook to find those customers. Now, there are stuff that a one day click does make sense for. For example, if you're selling anything cheap, any low ticket item that someone's gonna see the ad and react in real time, maybe you're selling t-shirts or you know, custom made hats or uh, you know, retro shorts, maybe you're selling jewelry that's relatively inexpensive, maybe under 100 bucks. We're not talking about $5,000 Cartier bracelets or $10,000 jewelry, we're talking about you know, rings for 50 and $30, Jackson chains, for example, that might be a one day click conversion because there is gonna be a good amount of people that are gonna actually see that ad and purchase within that same day. Now there are situations where the one day doesn't make sense and the seven day makes sense. Again, maybe you're selling like a course that's a $350 ticket price or $500 ticket price, or maybe you're selling some sort of electronic uh, that's in the you know, $150 to $500 price range. In those situations, people need time to research. So it is unlikely that in a one day click for the higher cost items or anything that somebody has to get a lot of information for is gonna convert. So 
There is one more situation that I would stress switching from a seven day click to a one day click and that's if you're running a discount or promotion. Because if you're running a discount or a promotion, now there's a strong incentive for someone to react, especially if it's a limited time promotion, maybe a 50% off deal, maybe a buy one, get one free, maybe a first week, you know, a uh, uh, first week free. If there's a strong incentive and it's a relatively low research experience, a simple buying experience, a one day click can actually work really well for your prospecting campaigns. So it's important that you understand these differences. You are welcome to set up a split test and actually I would recommend anybody watching this to set up an AB split test and run your campaigns both in a one day click attribution in one campaign and then duplicate and have a, the same campaign with a seven day click to see what works for your business. And I would actually run this experiment two times. One time when you're just doing your evergreen ads, no promotions, and then I would run it again if you do offer any discounts and see how performance changes in these two different campaigns when you have a promotional offer in the table. So that's sort of a little bit from my experience, but again, my recommendation is to be smart with this setting and also test for yourself. If you found this video useful and you want to continue optimizing your Facebook ads campaigns, make sure to grab my free Facebook ads D2C cheat sheet. It's packed with account structure best practices, performance driving tips, and the top tests that I run for new accounts. Follow the link below in the description, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.